Hello, hello, hello. I'm Marcia from Think Premium JA. And you know, today's message is really on that behavior is stronger than knowledge. Now, there's a reason why I said behavior is stronger than knowledge. And it's because it really doesn't matter what we know about an action or an opportunity if you self-sabotage with your own behavior. Like, you can know that you have the potential to be an amazing business owner, a fabulous sales professional. If you're not doing what it takes, your behavior is not in alignment with what your knowledge would be. And you're just not going to get it (laughs) because your behavior is just not in alignment. No, I would say all the time in past roles where people would say that they know they should be prospecting. Yet they choose not to. So they know they should be out there getting potential customers for their business, whether it's real estate, insurance, I don't care what it is. They know they should be out there looking for new um, customers and they're not doing it. And then these are the same people that complain that their businesses are not growing and why it's not happening. Because you know you have the knowledge of doing something as well as somebody else with your behavior was not in alignment with that so you're not going to achieve that that's just how it is now funnily enough i was actually given a whole new perspective recently on the seven deadly sins you know what the seven deadly sins are right envy gluttony pride greed loss sloth and wrath or aka anger what people don't realize though is that those sins all come from a mindset or a stronghold of poverty no i don't know about you but i've seen some truly wealthy people no the truly wealthy people that i saw they take care of their bodies as if they were temples so they're watching what they're eating they're watching what they're doing they carry themselves well they make sure they're well groomed etc most importantly these people are not boastful or greedy they're actually quite humble they don't lust or covet other people's spouses nothing like that and they don't get addicted to sex actions or substances and yes you can get addicted to actions and um workaholics out there i'm speaking to you yes pe- people who um try and drown out their feelings with work hi we see you we see you <laughs> yes or whatever it is whether it's eating or shopping those are actions too addicted to going to the gym like they idolize or pet it um yeah they idolize going to the gym for example that's a thing too whatever it is but these people have self-control long story short and they don't procrastinate excessively they don't act passive aggressively nor do they have numerous outbursts of anger they don't do that they're quite able to compose themselves even if they do as any normal person feel emotions or do get upset about things they know how to handle it and you see that's what makes them wealthy because those leaks that i mentioned earlier because of the seven deadly sins don't affect them and that's what they are they're they're leaks if you keep having emotional outbursts yeah that's a leak that's a leak of energy it's a leak of focus that's you know as a matter of fact that leak can also cause your relationships as well so you can say good relationships are leaking out there too so people who do the opposite instead those are on those are those tend to be unsuccessful people in my opinion right like those people are the ones that are usually on the wrong side of success they they tend to they tend to be chronically unhappy or chronically unlucky and people like that you can't really help them because they know that what they should be doing you know don't think these people do not know that they should not be doing drugs or drinking or gambling they know they know they shouldn't be smoking you can't you can't stop people like that and reason being you know these people they just have a spirit of poverty they have a stronghold of poverty and A stronghold is really a mindset that um, can't be broken and it's, well, it can be broken, but it's not easily broken without deliberate effort. And it's passed on generation through generation because until people realize that it's there, they're going to ignore it. And, you know, there's a reason why, you know, the devil wants us to 
not believe in religion because if you don't believe in religion you're not going to believe he exists and he can exist in your ignorance you know so that's really like how a stronghold is as well like it's because it's not identified it just exists and it can wreak way more havoc than if it's brought into the light now going back to what i was saying those um unsuccessful people they always tend to be broke they always tend to be chasing a paycheck a high or they put long story short put their bodies in very bad situations like these unsuccessful people are never satisfied that's the spirit of poverty right there they're never satisfied and because of that they stay in a consistent cycle of luck no matter how much they get they could have all the pretty girls in the want in the world that they want they're going to want more they could have all the nice clothes in the world that they'd want they'll always want more they could have all the food in the world that they want they always want more and they spend most of their money there yes gluttony is also a big part of a spirit of poverty envy is a big part of the spirit of poverty so because they're envying the joneses they're going to run themselves into debt just to compete laziness that's also a spirit of poverty as well because you see it multiple times in the bible that god doesn't bless lazy people there are multiple instances is in the bible where it actually is spoken about i'm trying to see if i can remember one off the top of my head yeah, it's been a long day <laughs> all right but what i can say is that you want to ensure that you're not putting yourself in that position and not only that you see truly wealthy people have behaviors that are consistent with the vision that they have for their lives and their businesses like trust me these people know that they come from backgrounds where success isn't common or extends beyond a paycheck yet they do the work to have healthy relationships with god or their respective higher power themselves and others like these people have the knowledge that what is the norm for people like them where they're from they, they know yet their behaviors go against the image that unsuccessful people around them have and that's what helps those wealthy people in many cases to truly we reap success and wealth and i'm blessed to be around many of those persons and have you know some of them mentor me right and one of the verses in the bible that actually speaks about laziness is proverbs 13 verse 4 the soul of the lazy man desires and has nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich the lazy man desires what the hard-working people want house food vacations money for college and retirement but the lazy man's desires remain unsatisfied while the diligent gain wealth so that was and that was really just like an overview from proverbs 13 verse 4 and that's from galvina college not come yeah <laughs> all right i'm always looking for stuff like that online so I'll, I'll pick them up but just to close right um by now you realize that what i'm saying i'm not just viewing wealth in a monetary way in my opinion business isn't just about making money which is why i choose to minister about god through business but my question for you though since i view business as a lifestyle and i view ministering about god as a lifestyle is your behavior in alignment with your vision and what are you doing to fix that do you even know what your vision is let's talk about it all right so that's it for me take care of a wonderful day remember to never stop dreaming by the way i do offer digital marketing services like social media marketing email marketing blogging other forms of sales copywriting to online courses i do offer business consultation services and i have an online store that sells products that you're probably going to be running out of in the next two weeks anyway like laundry detergent fabric softener protein powders meal replacement shakes a wide variety of multivitamins for adults and kids let me know what you're looking for you can check it out in the description below and if this content adds value to you like please like the video subscribe to my channel share it with a friend and comment down below let me know what points stand out to you all right so again i'm marcy bent from think premium ga take care and remember to never stop dreaming bye bye